Bell curve is one of the most powerful concepts to predict the behavior of the world around us, including the stock market. So let's take a real life example to understand it. Now think of all the people of your age, right? So if we had to arrange them by height on this axis, we will have a few people who are very tall, right? Six feet tall, six and a half feet tall. So they would go on the right hand side of this axis. And of course, we will have a few people who are very short, uh, somewhere between three feet to four feet, and they would go all the way on the left hand side of this axis. But most of the people would fall somewhere in between. Now, when we plot the number of people at each of these heights and join that line, we get a curve that looks like a bell. And that is what is called as a bell curve. Okay, so now we have this nice and beautiful curve, but how do we interpret it? Well, the first thing to understand is the mean. This line right here in the middle, this shows the most likely occurrence, right? The most common height. So if I ask you that, you know what, today you're gonna to meet somebody of your own age, what do you think their height would be? Now, of course, you will not know what the height of this person is gonna be because you have never met them, but you can say that, you know what, it's very unlikely that I'm gonna meet somebody who is seven feet tall, right? Or it's very unlikely for me to meet somebody who is three feet tall, but it's very likely for me to meet somebody who is, let's say five feet tall. And this is the whole philosophy behind the bell curve to estimate the probability of something happening, right? So what is most likely to happen and what is very unlikely to happen. And this can be applied in all walks of life, right? To estimate the exam scores, IQ level, rolling a dice, and of course the stock market. And talking about the stock market, traders like myself use this concept to take high probability trades. How? Well, traders look at the past performance of a stock and based on that, they find out, okay, how much is this stock likely to move in a given period of time? Right? So in other words, what is very likely to happen and what is very unlikely to happen? And once they have that, the trade becomes more of a mathematical problem than a matter of speculation. Now, how exactly do they do that? Well, for that, we need to understand the concept of standard deviation and the very important 68, 95, 99.7 rule, which we will discuss in the future videos. But as of now, I hope that you understood what bell curve is all about.